Welcome back to the den. It is a beautiful, beautiful afternoon at the Jeff Adams baseball field. And today's guest has been a three sport athlete in our football, basketball, and baseball programs. Yesterday he held Pearson hitless over six innings. He was also our chaplain prefect this year, and he can absolutely shred on the bass, not the guitar, the thing that looks like a six foot violin. Give it up for Eric Holvik. What's Thanks, up, buddy? How you doing? Good. Welcome to the pitcher's mound, Thanks. your domain for, uh, <laughs> for much of the season. Well, Eric, baseball players tend to be a superstitious breed. Do you have any pregame rituals? Yes, actually, especially when it comes to pitching. Um, so while everyone's doing like I.O., I'll take... Um, an I.O., for those that don't know, is infield outfield drills, correct? Exactly. exactly. So I'll do an I.O., so I'll run uh, a pole to pole. And then I'll do karaoke's um, all the way back. Now, when you say karaoke, what song do you sing? <laughs> I don't sing. Okay. Yeah. People, oh, usually, people usually plug their ears when I sing. Okay. So I try to <laughs> try to avoid singing. Okay. That's why I play the bass. That makes sense. So you do. So you do some karaoke. Then what? And then I get to the corner of the dugout over there. I'll untie and retie my shoes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It just. I don't know. I just once I do it, just I just have to keep doing it. And I'll go behind the dugout, pray, um, and then I'll sit on the bucket until our I.O. is over. Um, and then once our I.O. is over, I'll usually be the first or second person to take some swings, um, sit on the bucket a little bit more and watch uh, the other team take I.O., see kind of like where their weaknesses are. And then uh, I'll take 10 pitches. That's it. No more, no less. Just 10. Um, just throwing up with Nordby. And then I'll just head out to the mound. Awesome. Well, it's been working out well for you this year. You've been, <laughs> you've been on fire. Okay, uh, really serious question. What is your go-to emoji? Go-to. That's interesting. Do I have two? You can have two. This is your edition of the den. You right. can have two. Well, one's the, the emoji with the tears coming out. Because usually when I text, it's all just joking around. Okay. That's uh, a good I have one. another one. And another one's kind of like a sassy one. Know the, know the emoji with, with the person like this? Yes. I do. That, that's my go-to usually. Really? It's usually my go-to. A you're lot of people a, are my a contact. sassy texter. Or just to show other people like how much sass they have when they text. Not oh, okay. Just me, like, oh, so it's usually, in, it's usually yeah, telling like, other wow, people, okay, like, wow, was, this that, is you right now. Yeah, like this is like how you're acting right okay. now. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. If your entire baseball team participated in a Royal Rumble, who wins? I would probably say Ben Walter would win. He, I mean, he always he's comes. Up, he always comes up behind me and like pretends to like suplex me. So I mean, okay. he's already like in the mindset of winning WWE. Yeah. So I'd probably put him as the WWE champion. Okay, that's a good choice. I was. Um, I thought you might have said Jensen. I was thinking he's about that. Such a barbarian. I mean, he he does put everything on the line. He yeah. really does. I think it would be if those two had to like fight it out. I don't really know. I think Ben would win by just a little. Yeah. But I think it'd be. A, I think it'd be a match to see. I think if you made it somehow patriotic and themed, Jensen would win. I think Jensen. I think Jensen would find a way to win that. <laughs> without yeah. a doubt, he would. Um, what's one thing on your bucket list? Hmm. One thing on my bucket list would be probably go like scuba dive in the Great Barrier Reef. It's like clear water. Yeah. Just relaxing, peaceful. No one's that there. would be amazing. Just fish. I will never do that. As cool as that would be. Really? Yeah. Never? I'm kind of one of my uh, obsessions is sharks. But with that obsession, there is a very healthy fear of them. <laughs> and great whites frequent the Great Barrier Reef. So um, so good luck to you, man. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy that. I will not join you. All right, finally, what would your Ben and Jerry's ice cream flavor be called? Well, I was thinking about this and how a lot of, I have a lot of nicknames on the baseball team and just in general. Uh, one of them is Breakfast. So I was gonna go with the breakfast bowl. Okay, breakfast bowl. What would what would be in there? Probably some like chocolate chips with some um, maybe some like rice krispies. Oh, and yeah. put some cookie dough in there too. Because you have rice krispies and cookies for breakfast. Exactly. Breakfast. I mean, you have rice krispies like with some bread. Okay. Just got to add some dessert in there too. Maybe some sausage. Why not? Go big or go home, man. The Eric Holvik's breakfast bowl. I can see it. I can see it right there next to Cherry Garcia right? and fish food. Right? That would be awesome. All right, folks. This is the Battle of Bear Run edition of The Den. And this trophy 
a third place wrestling trophy from 2001 is on the line. It's the Battle of Bear Run! Eric, this is Bear Run. All right, let's do it. You don't have any heart or liver conditions, correct? I'm good. All right, then you should be fine. Uh, we're gonna start in the starting blocks, right. okay? Grab a bat, turn around 10 times. Put a ball on the tee, you have to hit it cleanly. If you hit a duffer, you gotta grab another ball, put it on the tee, you gotta hit a crisp one. All right, straight, okay. Then you're in the hurdle. Jump over the low one, go underneath the high one. You have three chances to make it into that. If for some reason you miss it, Donovan will have a trivia question that you have to answer before you can continue on. All right, next station, jump ropes, okay? After you spin 10 times, you have to open and down an entire pack of Gatorade Prime shoes. <laughs> you need to rifle one softball into the garbage can. Grab your club, grab a ball, you have to hit it from behind your spot, or even with it, all the way to the track. Do you realize I'm a lefty? Put on the helmet, I got your special helmet just Solid. in case, you know, you somehow get a concussion. Okay. I know you're good at that. I protect my head. Grab a ball, one ball, rifle it through your tire. Then you grab a football, place it on the field goal tee, kick the field goal. Pick it up, maintain a bounce, and you have to walk around the seal twice, okay? Two circumferences. After you do that, jump over the four foot high jump bar. Final obstacle, grab a basketball, run, you don't have to dribble, run all the way to the hoop, make a layup, time ends, all right? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Racers, take your mark. Set. Go! Are we spinning first? Spin. Go. Eric forgot to jump rope. Eric forgot to jump rope. Ah, go, bro. <coughs> to open. They have to be swallowed before you spin. Ooh, these are soft and warm. <laughs> I can't swing righty. I'm so sorry. Oh, this field was looking so nice, too. Oh, shoot. Oh. Get up! Left is short. <laughs> stop, stop, Eric. Eric, you gotta move forward, man. You're gonna kill Dan. I can't do this. Both go, both go, both go. I got it, anyways. Oh, just realized we forgot the batting helmets. 
it's all good. Oh. No! Oh, my stomach. Oh. Go, bro. It's good. You got it? Got to bounce on the ground, Eric. Bounce on the ground. Not up bounces, down bounces. What a finish. There it is! The champion! The champion! The winner of the first ever bull run! Yes! Bear run! Woo! Oh my gosh! I'm not even. I'm not even. Uh, I'm not even doing this for effect. I think I might actually throw up. That was disgusting. Oh, those Gatorade chews. That's all I can taste right now. Oh! Oh my gosh! How'd you swallow those so fast? I didn't chew. <laughs> Thanks for the problem. Oh, Woo! yes. Yes. First annual Battle of Baron Champion. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm going to miss you. Thanks, bud. Oh. I miss you, too. Oh, my gosh.